we doing this? Really? Wait for it. Are we doing this? Wait for it. Ah! So uh, we're at the uh, Muhammad Ali Center. That's what it's called, right? Muhammad Ali Center. And uh, already I've learned some things. Um, it's broken into these different areas where, you know, uh, ideals, I guess you would call them, values. We just went through confidence, which, you know, as you know, in and out with me. Sometimes it's there, sometimes not so much. Now we're in dedication. I have that, but it's a default. So maybe I need to have confidence about dedication. And pretty soon we'll move into respect. And, you know, I have uh, very little self-respect. So I think I'm going to learn a, a lot here. I think, I think I may become a boxer. Maybe. I'll, maybe I ought to rethink that. That might be late for that. I, you never know, though, you know? Right? What's the matter, Ryan? <laughs> Nothing. Ryan Singer, he's I a think Canadian. about you in a boxing ring. In those shorts. <laughs> Why is that funny? You can start boxing any time. Isn't that one of those things you can start any time? It's never too late? No. no? All right, I'll rethink it. I'll rethink it. Do we, are we going to see the movie? I like movies. Um, I think there's been a misunderstanding here. I, I was told I can't eat here. <laughs> but, I, you know, as a, I don't, I, it's weird, I'm talking to you like I'm talking to a new show. I don't, yeah, I have no, when I go to exhibits like this, I have no, I have no real sense of, of what the real struggle it, it must have been to be black at a different time, and it, it just blows my mind. And then this, like there was a moment there when I was in the hope area, the spirituality area, where I realized um, I'm a selfish asshole, and perhaps maybe I should be a little more generous. And uh, I'm learning things here. I don't think I'm gonna box, but I don't think I'm gonna be the same after I leave here. Is that what's supposed to happen here? Yes. Good. Then it's happening. This place is working. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. This guy keeps telling me to leave. Hey, you. We're just pushing my comedy, uh, my comedy shows. And Rand Paul calls in to discuss the bridges. And there's this moment where I can seize this moment, try to hijack this show. And address all this lip service that Rand Paul's paying to, you know, detaching from the national emergency budget to make a federal emergency budget to support the state's ability to deal with things on a state level. Though never talking about where that money's going to come from. Never talking about the inevitability of raising taxes. You know, never talking about perhaps creating jobs around these these bridges and these construction projects. Just you know, just kind of bullshitting about these big ideas of, of, of states' rights and, and detaching from you know, the tax system and, and the way the system is set up in this libertarian way. But the fact of the matter is, is that without addressing where that money is going to come from or even having an idea how to create jobs for people, he's just paying lip service to a bunch of stupid isolationist ideas to pander to angry poor people that have really no idea how they're going to ever resolve their own problems and there is no solving the problems. He's just going to ride their anger until he can ultimately be part of the system, whether it's Republican or whoever, that's going to treat them the same way and nothing ever gets solved and they don't have a voice to solve it. And when you see stuff like this, of somebody who is selflessly dealing with the, the idea of global poverty and global racism, you know, just in the name of being a spiritual diplomat, it's very... It, it's uplifting and it's inspiring, but the politics of this country and the politics of the situation will always be classist, and they never talk about that here. So did I interrupt the radio show to address some of the stuff with Rand Paul? No. Why? Because these guys just steamroll you with talking points, and there's no discourse available. So these things seem unsolvable. So until somebody starts honoring the spirit of Muhammad Ali and people start coming together, around the condition of life for poor people in this country, nothing's ever going to be done. But the problem is, is that people who are hypnotic with their political ideas for the wrong reasons are able to focus on the anger and despair of these people and misguide their emotions.
to actually vote and act against their economic self-interest. How do you switch that? I don't know. Beliefs are hard to shake, but beliefs in the wrong thing are dangerous. Right? Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like to admit this stuff. These are all small pictures drawn by children, their hopes and dreams. Now, okay, I'll go ahead and tell you. When I was a kid, I was a you know, Jewish guy. But when I was like in second and third grade, I became sort of obsessed with uh, the way Hitler's face looked. So I drew pictures of Hitler constantly. And quite honestly, I don't think that would fit on this wall. I think it would be misunderstood. So I'm happy that that I've changed. If I were to draw a picture now, as a child, as a young Mark, what would my hopes be, Brian? What's your, what were your childhood hopes? My childhood hopes? Yeah. Um, is this the, actually, Ryan Singer is one of the most uh, sort of forcefully happy people <laughs> that I know. Like, you know there's a lot of shit going on in there, it's just not right. <laughs> yeah, he just moves through life with this weird manic confidence of somebody who's about to fall into himself at any second. <laughs> Careful, well, this place has to be very emotional. <laughs> so, saying the wrong thing could really set me off right now. So let's talk about your hopes. Are they for mankind or are they for... Oh, yeah. Yes, on Earth, like I think was the big one, was the Peace on Earth one. And what about more media helps? Just getting that tape done for your Ferguson set? <laughs> yeah. How's that coming? Oh, we had some audio problems. Yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it tonight. My hopes for the future are... This one, it's horrible to try to focus on other people, isn't it? I'm trying, you know, we can cut all this. I'm just trying to be in the moment here. I'm trying to be honest. What do you really hope for? What do I really hope for? What do you really hope for? That every day isn't consumed by panic and dread and the need for constant relief and the need to distract myself almost all the time. I got a nicotine lozenge right now. I had, a, I had a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. These are luxury problems. These are not these kind of problems. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do after uh, visiting the Muhammad Ali Museum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a beacon of hope. Oh man, I have got some work to do. I've gotta rejigger my entire act. I perhaps have to change my career. Might get into some community service work. I'm not gonna box. Maybe I'll just keep doing comedy and uh, you know reach out to uh, people who feel alone and angry and neurotic and misunderstood and give them hope that maybe someday they can uh, you know do something other than think about themselves all the, all the time. How's that? Is that a pretty good mission? Was it okay? That's all I'm really worried about right now. Was I okay in that? I mean, did that come off as helpful because I'm a little nervous about how I come off here. But I'm hopeful that, oh, shit. I'm a different man now than I was two seconds ago. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Am I exuding light right now? I just watched Muhammad Ali hold that and light the torch. And I felt when I was standing there watching it that I was full of light and hope I don't know. If, this is gonna be a tough sell, fellas. I can do it. All right, Mark Marin. No, let's just change my name, like Ali did. I'm just gonna call myself Hope Marin. Muhammad Hope Marin. No, I got to integrate this stuff into my. Uh, I'm just rambling. It's been a good time, though.
You know what I'm thinking right now? What I'm thinking in my heart is I'm hungry. Can we get something to eat?